Heritage Tuesday. I know he wanted, he enjoys, not enjoys, but you know, it's a good pitcher's park, but it, it, um, just, you know what happens, they, what happens when they get the blister, they shave it down and then it forms another callus and you shave it down. You can just get down to, I gotta tell you with, just because I have to tell you why he's not making a start or, or why he may have come out of a game, there's a lot of pitchers that have this issue. It's just that, you know, the trainers, it's a constant challenge for trainers around Major League Baseball to manage this. The, the baseball, especially the young players coming up from the minor leagues with a different baseball, you know, you see a lot of them when they first come up here and they, I, they'll they say, geez, I never had a blister there before. But next year, supposedly, Triple-A is going to have the baseball, and then the next year, Double-A is going to have the baseball, too. So hopefully that'll get better. That means don't ever call anybody up from the Carolina League. No, he's, he's, he's fine. He's ready to play. I'm not going to make something up. He just uh, wants to see some guys play. Talk to Adam. He knows what's going on. You know, it's, uh, it's been a while since, uh, you know, He's missed some games being healthy, so it's a little different territory for him, but I think he understands what's going on. He's a guy who, when you've DH'd, you've said he's tough to have around because he always wants to be playing. Well, he doesn't DH well. Right, so him on the bench, I mean, is he taking it well? Uh, Adam's Adam's a a good teammate, he's a good pro, and he's really well respected in the challenge, you know, not challenge, but, you know, I want to treat him with the respect he has due. I mean, this is a guy that's going to be in the Oral Hall of Fame one day. But uh, I think he understands what we're trying to do as an organization, too. He's a smart guy.